I'm Llewellyn Falco, and I'm an Agile Technical Coach, and today we're going to take a look at the duplication codecs. Now, before you watch this video, you probably should try these out for yourself, both the Sparrow decks, the coloring exercises, and then finally the actual exercises themselves. But now that you've done all that, I want to go over it so you can see what goes on in my head when I'm doing it. So I've downloaded the duplication kata in .NET. I have it in Visual Studio. I also have the plugin with Sharper in play, and I have it set to continuous integration. So on the sidebar, all of my tests are running. You can see that by the little green. If I change anything and save it, it will automatically rerun the tests, and when it fails, everything will turn red. If I save it again and put it back, it goes to green. So we have a really nice safety net. And now we're going to go down Ryan Beacom's patterns of de facto. And so step one is identify. That's exactly what we do when we do the drawing exercise. So I'm just going to draw a square around the two places that look the same. Normally, we fill in the white space on the left-hand side. But in this particular case, I think it's much more illuminating to look on the right-hand side, because that shape is much more distinct and helps us to see the duplication better. Next, after we identify, we need to prepare. So we go through and we scan everything that is exactly the same, but a little bit different. And in this case, it's actually all exactly the same. We have a very simple thing. We have no preparation to do. So the next step is to extract the method. So I'm going to highlight the commonality, and I'm going to extract it, and we are going to use that as sing the course. exact same thing right here. So it's same course again. And when we save that, it passes. So that's it. Now we've removed the duplication. Now there is actually another way to do this. And while I personally like this answer more, I want to take the time to go through the second answer. Just in case you saw that one or you want to see it, it shows a little more detail things that we're going to get into in the next exercise. Let's just go back. We could have said that the duplication looks like this. And if we did that, we would then have to extract the refrain. So we'll grow that as a local variable. And we're going to have the same thing down here. So I'm going to use a little trick of just adding curly braces. Around here. Now I can extract and call it exactly the same thing. Oh, I need to add curly braces around the top part too. And now I have two blocks that look very, very similar. So I'm going to extract the commonality. Sing, refrain, then the course. And now we have the second part. If I do it in one place, I'm also going to extract it in the second place. can see that that works, but now we have the last part of Brian's pattern, which is clean up. So I'm going to inline this, inline this, remove the extra semicolons, and format everything. And that's it. I don't really care which way you do the first or the second. But either way, it should bring that intent out of the song. So I hope to see you in the next exercise. Again, I'm Llewellyn Falco. I'm an Agile Technical Coach. Check out my other videos if you like this one. Or, of course, you can always hire me and bring me into the company to work with your programmers. Thank you.